Welcome to Bell Commander. In this brief session, I will show you how to set up a Bell schedule in Bell Commander. In Bell Commander, the main program functions can be accessed by clicking on the buttons on the toolbar. The buttons are located across the top of the Bell Commander window in this section. To create a, first, a Bell schedule, first click the Devices button. The Devices button will bring up the Device Manager. The Device Manager allows you to set up devices where Bell Commander can send audio to. In the first drop down, you'll see a list of devices. For this example, we'll start with just sending audio to the sound card. To send audio to the sound card, select sound card from the device type and, in, and ensure that enable sound card audio is checked. To set the sound card, which should play audio, select it from the sound device drop down. If you have more than one sound card, select the, the different sound card and click the apply sound card button. After selecting the sound card, you can send a test to the sound card using the device manager. To send a test, click the browse button to locate a file. This example will play a sound that's included with Bell Commander. To play the file, simply click the play audio file button and you should hear the audio play to the sound card. At this point, we can enter our first schedule into Bell Commander. To enter schedules into Bell Commander, first click the Day Scheduler button. The Day Scheduler allows schedules for different types of days to be added. For example, a standard daily schedule could be one schedule, and an early dismissal schedule could be another schedule. To add a new schedule, click the Add button on the top of the Day Scheduler window. In the Add Day Scheduler window, simply enter a name for the schedule. In this case, we'll enter the name as Standard Schedule. Now with the day schedule added, we can add bells to the schedule. Click the Add Bell button to either add a single bell or to add multiple bells at once to the scheduler. For this first example, we'll add an individual bell at 7.30 a.m. and set it to play to the sound card zone. If you have multiple zones entered into Bell Commander, then you would select a different zone here. Then select whether to play a sound file or a sound sequence to the zone. Sound sequences are, are a set of sounds that play, play in sequence to a zone. These can be added through the sound sequence option on the toolbar. In this case, we'll add a, a single sound file. And so now after clicking the OK button, we have a sound set to play at 7.30 a.m. Now we'll add multiple bells at an interval. To do this, set, set a starting time and an ending time that bells should play. In this case, we'll start from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. and play bells every 60 minutes or every hour. And in this window, you'll also set the, sound, the zone, zone to sound card and select the, a sound to play to the zone. So we'll select the same file again and click the OK button. And now multiple bells will be added throughout the day for the time interval selected. Now that we have the day schedule defined, we need to apply it to the calendar in Bell Commander. To assign the schedule to the calendar, click the Calendar button to open the Calendar Scheduler window. The calendar scheduler allows day schedules to be visually applied to the calendar. If the same bell schedule plays on a weekly basis, then a default weekly schedule can be applied. To set a weekly schedule, click the Set Default Weekly Schedule button. In the Set Weekly Schedule window, you can set to use the same schedule every week or alternate schedules on a bi-weekly or tri-weekly basis. For this example, we'll use the same schedule every week. Next, if the schedule does not begin immediately, enter a date that the schedule should start. In this case, we're starting the schedule immediately so we can leave the date in the past. Finally, set each day of the week to the corresponding day schedule. In this case, we'll set each day of the week to the standard schedule. Finally, click the OK button to save the schedule settings. As you can see now that the schedule has been applied to the calendar and each day of the week where the schedule is set, you can click the day and see the corresponding times that bells will ring on that day.
at this point, we now have a bell schedule set on a weekly basis that will run every day at 7.30 and again from 8 to 4 p.m. At this point, we have a basic schedule defined for Bell Commander, and Bell Commander will play audio set to the schedule in the calendar scheduler. The next step would be to add additional schedules to the day scheduler for days such as early dismissals or assembly days, and then add those schedules to the calendar scheduler. For an example, we'll create a schedule now for an early dismissal. To set the early dismissal schedule, first return to the day scheduler window. Click the Add button to add a new schedule. Now we can begin defining our early dismissal schedule. We'll do the same process to add bells for the day. And we'll also add bells at an interval, but we'll set the bells to run every 45 minutes from 8 until 2 p.m. Now that we have the schedule defined, we can set an exception in the calendar scheduler. Return to the calendar scheduler window to set the exception. Select the date that you would like the exception and right click on the date and click the set exception for date selection. This will bring up a window where you can select the schedule to apply. We'll select the early dismissal schedule that we just entered. And now in the calendar, we can see that the new schedule was applied. If we click the day, we can see that the schedule on the 16th is different from the schedule on the other days. This concludes our introduction to Bell Commander. If you'll be using multiple zones, you can also see our multiple zones set up in a separate demonstration.